A big payout today for a man whose murder conviction was overturned. Frank O'Connell spent nearly three decades behind bars. Well, today the L.A. County Board of Supervisors approved one of the largest settlements in the U.S. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez tells us not everyone agrees. I don't know what you think what a person's life is worth, but $15 million isn't enough. But that's what Frank O'Connell was given today by the L.A. County Board of Supervisors, a $15 million settlement to be paid over two years. $15 million for spending 27 years behind bars for a murder that he says he never committed. My incarceration was 27 years, four months. I forgave everybody involved. He was convicted of shooting Jay French on January 5th, 1984, shooting him in the back. Because everything points to Frank. It was like a slam dunk case. I mean, the, the, the memories of the witnesses were so clear. The brother-in-law and sister of Jay French said today, after all these years, they are convinced O'Connell did the murder. And they said today, they have no doubt the county gave all that money to a killer. We know that he killed our brother. I don't think they've seen all the evidence. I don't think they quite understand. After 27 years, an L.A. County judge threw out the conviction. A witness who had testified at the trial recanted his story. And then the judge ruled that the district attorney's office withheld vital information from the defense. But the judge said if the D.A. wants to retry O'Connell, they can. So far, they haven't. Sheriff's Department uh, will continue investigating this case. L.A. County Sheriff Detective Steve Langford said despite the monetary settlement, he will continue investigating this case. He told me he's convinced O'Connell is the one who committed that murder. No fear that they will come back and say, we have evidence, we're going to put you on trial again. Sir, an innocent man doesn't have fear. O'Connell said the entire time he was behind bars, he made one promise he was not going to break, a promise he made to a four-year-old little boy. I promise, he told him, I will be out and I'll be with you. That little boy, his son, who is now 33 years of age. From Pasadena, Dave Lopez, KCAL 9 News.